Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 8, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So we'll start by looking at the, the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And there has been a lot of movement uh, today. For example, the US dollar has appreciated significantly and that has had major um, effects on most of these currency pairs. So you can see we have fallen quite a bit. We are down at this current stage 0 0.26. We have tested a 20 exponential moving average and it is still holding. So at this current stage, as long as the 20 exponential has not been broken, we're not trading underneath it, we will consider that as being supportive at this current stage. If we were to break down below the 20 exponential, then the 40 and the 50 will offer significant support. Otherwise, a turnaround here will open the door for a buy-in and we can target these previous highs. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all basically turning around. So it may well be that we'll see a continuation of these moves. So break in towards the 50 moving average or a little bit below that and then rallying. So as long as the US dollar index start, or US dollar starts appreciating, that will have a, a negative effect on this currency pair and it will basically start falling. But we have been in an uptrend. We're still in an uptrend. It has not, there's not a trend reversal in sight at the current stage. So we're having a pullback and when it basically turns around, it is um, time to start buying again. So 20 exponential is holding. So we look at the MACD, it's crossing the signal line. The RSI is becoming negative. The same is going to the CCI. And also the stochastic is very negative. We are right here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. So a break here could open to the to the very lowest of the Bollinger Band. And that's around 13 to 38. And that is just below the 50 moving average. So let's look at the US dollar yen. We have rallied quite significantly and this is becoming looking really interesting at this point. So if we manage to break the 50 moving week average, then we're heading towards the 100 or the top of this uh, trend line here. And that is, as you can see, a major uh, buy selling opportunity. It is also uh, plausible to start selling it here. However, we may start trading above the 50 moving average but at the moment we're underneath if you look at technical indicators they are looking very bullish at this current stage but we are way outside of the bullinger band so a pullback towards the 40 or 20 exponential moving average as you can see it already started that is very likely at this current stage it is very unlikely that we'll just go straight towards the very highs here um, in the next few days but we have been trading in this down, uh, down trending channel for several months now. Every time we get to the upper side of this, it's basically possible to sell. And when we get to the bottom, it's, it's, a, it's a very good buying opportunity. So at the moment, we are heading towards the top. We just need to get through the 50 moving average. So let's look at the euro US dollar. This has broken down quite significantly. Still, the 20 exponential moving average has not been tested. We may see some more downside in the few uh, next few trading days, but as long as the 20 exponential is still holding, it is no reason to expect this to just fall apart. So underneath there, there's plenty of support. So pullbacks were expected because we were way overstretched, way overbought, and uh, this just gives us the opportunity to buy these currency pair cheaper and make some money out of it. If you look at the MACD, it's basically um, trending underneath the signal line, and the RSI is uh, bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is turning around here, it's becoming bearish as well. So we may see this uh, start trending even lower or just above the 20 exponential like we did here before we took off. We did breach the top of the Bollinger Band, and, um, and therefore we also broke down towards the middle of the bullish amount. So pullbacks here are basically buying opportunities. No interest in basically selling this whatsoever. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. And this is almost guaranteed to fall even further. So towards the 20 exponential 
we can average roughly 1.48 percent fall more that is very likely we were way overstretched in this market and we need a pullback towards the middle before this goes higher so we have done this several times before the 20 exponential has been very supportive uh, the last few months all the way back to uh, the beginning of november the 20 has been supportive in this market and it most likely will continue to be so so technical beginners some of them are still bullish still we are significantly overbought still so a fall of roughly one and a half percent that is very likely at this current stage and when it starts when we get closer to 20 exponential and it shows signs of life that's when you should start buying again so let's look at the us dollar canadian dollar we did rally up towards the 20 exponential gave most of those gains back and then we created it in this inward hammer um, it is very likely that we will continue this rally to the upside we are significantly oversold the technical indicators are turning around they're still bearish but they are turning around we were outside of the bullish band yesterday and now we are starting to trading inside of the bullish band and usually we try uh, we trade up towards the to the 20 moving average that's roughly 1278 uh, or we go all the way up to the 40 or the 50 moving average before we break break down again so no instance basically of buying this just every rally here is basically a selling opportunity so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much Thank <music> you.